And it's time for our artist spotlight. Chef Gabriel Gilbo from the TV series Yellowstone now goes solely by his nickname, which is Gator. For about five years, Gator has served as head of craft services for projects by director Taylor Sheridan. But the 30-year-old caught the public eye with his appearances in 12 episodes of the hit show Yellowstone. April Neal and I had the chance to catch up with him about his new Yellowstone cookbook from Insight Editions. Check this out. Gator, so good to have you join us today. I know April and I are very excited. She's got the Yellowstone cookbook right there. Many of our viewers recognize you from the Yellowstone TV series. Your story is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I mean, you started in craft services. You are a professional chef, you know, in real life, but then you actually made your way to having a role on screen as well. And then now you released a cookbook. <laughs> I got a phone call in the middle of the night and uh, agreed to do the show, not knowing what it was called or what it was going to be, or all I knew was there. I was going to be able to get out of the summer in New Orleans, so I was, I was in. Uh -huh. And uh, they said, "Yeah, there's just one thing. There's this guy. This um, he's kind of a cowboy type. Uh, he's our director, and he's very particular and very hungry." Can you please come feed him? And what they really meant was, we can't find anybody to satisfy this guy. Would you, would, can you come calm him down? And yes, the answer is yes, I can calm Taylor Sheridan down. How did you make that jump though, from wooing everybody with your culinary skills to playing a similar role, if you will, on camera? How did that whole thing come about? Uh, I didn't think no was an option when he told me what I was doing that day. So <laughs> he wrote he wrote me into the script, and I think I, we can all agree that eventually there was going to have to be a cook in the show. Like it was inevitable, no matter what. And I know he knew that. And I think within a couple weeks of meeting me and seeing kind of my my style and my and who I was and what I'm about. I think he knew, knew, oh, I'm probably gonna make this guy the cook in the show. He said, oh yeah, I put you in the show again uh, today. Um, yeah, you you and Kevin. I said, Kevin who? He said, you know, Kevin. I said, Kevin Costner? And he goes, yeah. I was like, you know I'm not an actor, right, Taylor? He goes, uh-huh, yeah, I know. I was like, okay, man, as long as you're okay with that, and then uh, I, I served Kevin Costner a big plate of grilled octopus, like a, like a Google, wow. and uh, managed to not screw that up either, apparently. So here we are today. Okay, let's talk about this cookbook, though, Gator, because Thanksgiving yeah. is coming up. Uh, what are some recipes that you suggest people check out to maybe well, you know, dress up their tables? First of all, uh, I don't know what it looks like where you guys are today, but I can take a guess, and okay. then it's chili and gray uh <laughs> pretty much and that's what it's that's what it's like in my house today in texas too and that means it's gumbo weather so gumbo is what i literally just finished having a gumbo for lunch we just made a big pot for the day so that recipe in, is in the book it's great for the holidays it's great for the cold weather everything in this book is made super um friendly to the home cook it's there's simple recipes um, that, that you don't need fancy ingredients or fancy cookware or cornbread dressing for your Thanksgiving table. That's how we do it down in Louisiana. Uh, it's it's really, it's, it's the perfect time of the year to have that book on your table, I promise. And the perfect gift with the yeah. holidays. It really does make a good Christmas gift. is a coming, y'all. <laughs> it feels good in your hands. It's, it looks good on your table. It looks good on your mantle or um, hey, you know, up on a shelf in your kitchen. It really came out nice. We're, we're very proud of our work. Uh, you can get it just about anywhere where they sell books. I know Costco and Sam's Club and Walmart all have it. Barnes and Noble. Uh, you can obviously go on Amazon and get it all day long. Wonderful. And then how do we watch Yellowstone? Uh, right now it is airing on CBS on Sundays. Um, you can also get it on Peacock. And then uh, we also have a, a new show that just came out called Bass Reaps, which aired... Uh, this past weekend and that's on paramount plus it's a really great show we worked we worked our butts off real hard last summer in the texas heat to make it for you guys so and uh we just ended our strike uh this this morning at at, at midnight 
Yeah. And we all get to go back to work. We can talk about our TV shows again. And uh, this means we can finally start the preparations to get back and finish season five of Yellowstone and also make our new shows that we have coming out as well.